guys, welcome back to another part of the Sims 4 Castaway series. So we are on episode 5, which means we're halfway through, which actually makes me really sad because I'm really enjoying this series, but I know that it's better to finish at 10 episodes. So we are halfway done. This is really sad and quite emotional. I feel like I literally just started the series, but here we are. So we are here again with Micah. I feel like every single episode we start this exact same scene. However, this time we are actually not on the same island that we've been on for the past four episodes. In fact, we are on a brand new island, which we we managed to get to in the last episode where we met oh my god that's not canon not canon look away look away <laughs> that's not happening that's not happening anyways where we met some lovely seagulls with terrifying eyes and four legs so honestly life's good i guess um <laughs> So as you can see, we are now on this island. Oh my god, she's gonna weigh herself. Honey, buddy, sweetie, baby, I love you, Micah. And I really don't want you to pee yourself. No, actually, don't pee just there. No, 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 no. I was gonna just say there, but you know what? We're not gonna do poo. We found that out in the last episode, that pressing poo. Let's just say it's not a good idea. Just pee slightly in the water, okay? That's the smart plan. Not pooing on the sand and leaving it there to just live its life. Yep, I'm just gonna leave you to it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you there to you have fun with that one, babes. Okay, have you done it yet? No? Is she glitched again? She's glitched again. Okay, thank God. I thought that was gonna be a never ending Wii, and I was like, what's going on? Is this the saga of the never ending urination and bowel movements? I don't know. So, Micah has woken up. It's 8 a.m., so the sun is. Where's the sun? There it is. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. That is a movie scene if I've ever seen one. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> I'm actually hilarious. So Micah's woken up and actually for the first time since getting here, she didn't have the same nightmare that she always had. Before it was the same thing over and over again where she couldn't breathe, where she was thinking about what happened and why she got here. But the one she had last night, it was different. It wasn't the same. It was changed and it was about her mom. I think that having that hat that she found, it made her start thinking about her mom and she saw what happened on that day from her own eyes and it's made her quite upset. Honey, why is there people coming around everywhere? Guys, it's not funny. Okay, this is not not the time. Okay, there's no one around us. Good lord. These are ghosts. Ooh, spooky ghost who's definitely not a male person. Yeah, spooky ghost. <laughs> Ooh, terrifying. But as I said, Micah is feeling a little bit different today because she didn't scare herself awake this time she didn't have the realization of oh my god i'm on an island because she feels a little bit of hope because she, she managed to get here despite this absolutely sad looking face right now i swear she is actually decently happy i just promise guys i just promise okay <laughs> she definitely isn't starving or really stinky that'd be so silly that'd be so silly it didn't seem like she got a great night's sleep last night obviously they got here and they started going to sleep at about 3 a.m so it's obviously wasn't the greatest night's sleep so she is a little bit tired still but she's also wide awake at the same time and she's also so stinking so that's fun Micah looking down at herself and she's like oh my god i'm really stinky right now oh my god how does this keep happening <laughs> um you know what she didn't even pee herself this time okay also can we please for the love of christ scare away this flock i know that she was all happy to see them yesterday and i know that technically speaking we could you know kind of <clears throat> kill them and you know get their meat or whatever but i'm just not really feeling that and we're just gonna scare them away and, you <laughs> and just watch as they just you know fly Woo yay oh my god thank god i was very scared of waking up in the morning and their eyes being plucked out and being like just flung on the sand somewhere because seagulls are kind of rude like that to be honest so hope's just woken up and she's walked on over to micah hopefully avoiding the urine that just went into the water probably like a, a yellow sort of mist over there so we'll just <laughs> face away from that uh, <laughs> and hope that hope did not see that because that's quite that's quite awkward and hope just says to micah i well can't believe we actually made it here last night. That's it's weird being on a different place. And Micah just says, "I know. I it's uh it's uh it's it's um it's pretty cool, right? I I know. I can't believe that." we really ma made it either i mean i i mean i knew that we could obviously that's you know i mean the raft was good and whatever but you know i i um i'm glad we made it across um so i guess we'll have to start looking around or something and hope just says yeah we'll uh we'll have to get pack our stuff up and, and look around see what we can find uh, i'm quite hungry so we'll see what we can get i don't know if you want to split up or and micah just says no 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 i don't think that's a <clears throat> i don't think that's a great idea um i don't think that we should split up maybe just uh we could we could just we could just stay stay close to each other right just to be safe for safe safety reasons because um because that's safer right and hope looks over at micah and just says mm, yeah no that yeah 
Yeah, it's safer. Sure. Let's, uh, let's start looking then. So, we are going to start exploring a little bit. So, let's go ahead and grab our towels. We do not want to lose those. Oh my god, the seagulls are back, bro. Our eyeballs want to stay in our head, okay? Oh, they've left already. Good. Oh my god, guys. This is... <laughs> This is embarrassing. And we'll have to look around. Guys, if you see... Okay, listen, okay. If you see any Sims walking around the background, for example... Yeah. Um, <laughs> just don't pay attention, okay? Like, guys, there's not a Sim currently walking by. That'd be so silly. Guys, there's literally not a Sim walking by. I don't even know what you're on about. Like, you guys are just seeing things. Like, there was literally not a Sim. As I said, they are ghosts. They are not real. So, just don't even... <laughs> don't even look too closely, okay? Just, just, just focus on our Sims, okay? Because otherwise, I'll cry, okay? Let's have a look around. I really want to do some of this series in first-person mode because I really enjoy it. But I want to get your guys' opinion in the comments if you guys find it sickly because I know that a lot of people find it motion sickness. So, it's entirely highly up to you guys if you want me to do it like this. I feel like it looks way cooler and more cinematic, but it's, it's entirely up to you guys, so let me know in the comments. I won't do it for this episode, but Mako's gonna go ahead and look around. She's trying to think of things that she can get, anything really. Obviously, we have the raft, and we have some peppers. We have a few of those. We have the towel, and then we also have the campfire and a bit of cardboard. Oh, and also the tarp as well. So we don't have too much, and Mika realized when she started smelling that she was like, wait, wasn't there like something that we were using to shower? And then she realizes that they forgot the shower completely. They forgot it. And she is just like, oh my God, we are so idiotic. Oh my Jesus Christ. She's thinking, okay, please. Hopefully Hope does not know. Hopefully she doesn't realize because that's like really embarrassing that they totally forgot about the shower. That was so helpful. So they don't have a shower now. They don't have a bucket. They don't have anything to wash with. So for now, girl. So for now, they're just gonna have to deal with stinking and being angry because of the smell. Micah's gonna look over here and she's gonna see all of this lava and she's thinking, oh god, like, this is really close to us. Like, they were sleeping literally here last night. This is where they were sleeping and just over here is a load of lava that spurred out. Now, we obviously know that whilst they were on the raft, they actually found- Babes, I feel like you're a bit close. Uh, <laughs> I don't want you to, like, sound fire or anything. They actually saw that the volcano erupted in the background. They didn't really notice it, but it was happening. So this must have been from that. And that's really scared Micah. She's thinking, this was this close to us. This was really close. We could have died. We could have we could have not made it through the night. And I wouldn't have been able to to see my family or or well oh, yeah or, or any, anyone or do anything because that could have been it so immediately she's thinking i want to get away from this whole thing this whole volcano situation i don't want to be anywhere near it is that a stink that she just left behind i think she just farted oh no it's just her general stench okay that checks out um and she's just thinking i want to get away from this as fast as possible because this volcano has erupted a few times since being here and that's a very short amount of space for it to erupt multiple times so Micah's gonna come over to hope and she's gonna be like hope oh, we've, we've we've got to get far from this this like have you seen over there there's there's all of this volcano and it uh, all the lava is erupted and i don't think it's safe for us to be here I, I remember doing about volcanoes in in school and i don't think they're meant to erupt this much in such a short amount of time like this is clearly not a uh what's the word a, 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 a dormant dormant one this seems dangerous right we should try and get a far away i think and hope's just like um no i don't think no i mean it, it probably won't erupt again right if it's just erupted it, it won't do it again so we can just stay in this area because there's there's probably some stuff around here that we can look at i've already seen some plants and stuff over there so we can we can look at those i feel like you've just been a bit paranoid okay Micah? i feel like just take a step back okay take a breath because it's not gonna happen Okay, you just being you just being really paranoid right now. The seagulls again? Are you joking? Thank you, thank you. They they were scared by my voice. Honestly, understandable. So Mike is just like no, because no, I, I mean, I, no, I, I I'm pretty sure that it literally erupted like the other day. Like this could happen again, and then we could die. We don't want to die, right? So I want to try and get far away. I mean, we can look around for a bit, but I think that we should go if we can. Okay. And Hope doesn't respond anything to that, and instead they're just gonna carry on looking around. Let's just walk across here and see what we can see. More seagulls are you kidding me bro you know what go chase that one as well no actually maybe not maybe not you are kind of like on the verge of like you know <laughs> death so maybe maybe there's more important things in life oh my god hope just being like oh yeah oh yeah and mike could be like i'm literally going to die da 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 die da da die can we rummage through this no there's nothing in this bin which is a shame because that would be really helpful if there was you're fine again or maybe hope's just a gassy person i don't know what to tell you so now they're here they're thinking to themselves which direction shall we go on the one hand you have sort of a journey up to the volcano it looks like it's going towards that direction but on the other hand you've got just more water and not much really going on let's stop here and hope says to micah i think we should go up this direction 
Okay, I think that there looks like there's something up there. And I think that that would be a good idea. So I think we should go up there, okay? And Micah is about to just start saying like, no, like I, I want to go the other way. I don't think it's safe. But she just realizes that she does not have the energy and she just can't be bothered to deal with that and try and fight at which direction to go. And she just says fine yeah we'll go there whatever honestly her brain is just so fried right now she's so tired she's so hungry she's so stressed out she's so stinky like every part of her is just not doing good there's literally nothing about her right now that is in a good mood except for the fact that she's had a nice wee and that she's feeling very social which is funny because the only person she's socialized with is someone that she kind of hates like very much actually like look at that bar dislike this relationship is tense things are likely to go array array oh array array i don't know why i just went array it just kind of gave me meow vibes or like rah or rah sorry no literally stop me from talking right now <laughs> please so let's go ahead and start walking up into this area this hill me oh my does that look tall to you guys because <laughs> i don't know about you but looking down here oh my god and it's it's sand as well i feel like it's so difficult to walk up but you know here we are i feel like micah's legs are killing her right now and i don't know why she's decided to just wear this obviously they've got like the campfire and stuff so i don't know how they're carrying all of this up here right now but they do have all of it so she's probably dragging it behind her or something oh god the thought of that is actually making me feel tired and i am not in this situation but as they reach the top of this hill micah looks on over to see that there is actually some sort of thing here like it is an actual I, I don't know what it is but there's fish hanging there they look very dead um very spoiled very stinky but there's like a little grill there's a little area of shelter there's some bottles there's some candles there's some torches there's some like cat like what are they called uh what are they called seriously what are they called catch nets 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 no catch things clearly i know my fishing very well <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff around here that actually is something <laughs> and it's not just emptiness like this is man-made this is something that's been built up so micah quickly comes over into the middle and she's like any anyone is there someone here like uh, hello oh god it, um hello is there anyone here are, are you hello and she starts going over to all of these sections searching behind things searching around looking to see if there's anyone anywhere in this place because it looks like there's been someone there's stuff on the floor there's things there's actual man-made things it looks like someone has been here and and so she's looking around and she's saying, hello, is anyone here? Can, can you help us, please? Uh, she's thinking that maybe this is a place that maybe a fisherman's come or, or, or something or, or just anyone really. And maybe that someone might be here because it definitely looks like that's the case. But Hope walks over to Micah and she just says, Micah, honestly, I think that there's no one here. Have you looked around? Like, look at the place. Like, that. those fish, they're dead. They're rotted. They're disgusting. And everything just seems like it's been here for some time. I really don't think that there's someone here. I'm sorry, but it, it doesn't seem like it. And Micah, who started to tear up, just says... <laughs> No, no, there's gotta, there's gotta be someone here because look at it. There's, 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 there's things and there's, there's, there's things that there could be someone like you, I know there might not be, but, but there could be, right? There's a possibility that there's someone's here because because they could be and, and maybe maybe they maybe maybe they're just gone out. Maybe they're just fishing or or maybe they're just gone somewhere right now and they're gonna come back because they could do, right? And Hope says, Micah, I, please, okay, I know that you want to get out. Of here okay i get it but you're not helping okay there's there's not anyone here i'm sorry i know that you wanted there to be but there's not okay just look there's no one okay we've got to just carry on looking it's already starting to go dark the sun's already starting to set okay i haven't got time for this we haven't got time there's no one here okay and if there is we can wait here right we could stay here overnight if someone comes back by some miracle but then you know then we'll be here but look around okay just really look. And Micah just looks around at all of the things and realizes that it is indeed abandoned and that it doesn't actually seem like anyone's here. And she just starts crying. She can't. <laughs> all of a sudden, she thought that this would maybe, you know, maybe there'd be someone here, but there's not. But she quickly pulls herself together because she doesn't want to keep crying and crying and crying, especially in front of Hope again. She's just starting to feel weak. And honestly, her energy is at the point now where she is literally going to pass out in how long? 
two hours you know what we're gonna have to just put down these towels i don't know where's best to probably underneath the shelter there we'll put one here and she just needs to go to sleep okay apparently she can't get to it under there so we'll have to sleep outside you know what to be fair there's not really a point of a shelter in this case i guess to keep away from the sun but like is it gonna rain <laughs> you know i mean to be fair it actually has rained indeed it thundered last episode so i mean i'm out here pretending like it hasn't but it actually has but you know we'll just put down our things i actually don't think the hope is going to sleep just yet but micah has gone to sleep and she actually fell asleep really quickly tonight normally it takes her like hours and hours and hours to drop off to sleep but she actually managed to sleep pretty quickly tonight because she's so exhausted she's just so just drained in every way and it seems they're both asleep now it is very dark it's actually like it seems darker here i don't know what it is but it seems like a lot darker than the other island i don't know if that's just me but this seems really scary and having the volcano there honestly michael wanted to fight for the fact that staying here is really dangerous next to the volcano because of the fact it's a volcano and that it obviously erupted last night but she genuinely just passed out before she could even try to because this is scarily scarily close to them now i mean yesterday they slept all the way down there and she was scared and that's where the volcano like erupted that's where the lava hit but today they are literally there in comparison to the volcano so oh this is a scary place to be in and if it wasn't for micah being so exhausted i don't think she'd sleep at all tonight but alas <laughs> she has absolutely passed out immediately Oh god, Mike has woken up in the middle of the night, but we actually have something a little bit better tonight because she's desperate to pee. But rather than just squatting on the floor as she's been doing, she can actually go ahead and fertilize this bush. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Hope did do this a little while ago, about which Micah did see, but listen, okay, I, more privacy, I guess. I mean, it seems kind of uncomfortable, but you know, that's just me. Oh, stinky bush, stinky, stinky, stinky bush. Let's go back to bed, stinky, stinky bush, 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 bush. It's a stinky 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 bush oh the bush is smelling 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 that was dreadful um so sorry okay and micah has woken up 7 a.m you know what a bit of a lion tonight bit of a lion very proud of you babe very proud of you so these two are both just woken up and they're just gonna say to each other about looking around this area seeing what they can find they're just not really talking much but as long as both of them know that they just need to look around then you know that's fine they're gonna have their own little sections to look around so whilst hope looks around this sort of section looking in the again with the fighting good lord woman this sort of section with these little things looking inside of stuff micah is gonna go ahead and look over in here she's looking around i don't know what a lot of this stuff is this is like a fish art thing maybe the person that lived here or that was here had like the woodworking table or something they've got like a candle which we can light which is good we've got some fruit but unfortunately it is so disgustingly stinky there is ants crawled over it and it's honestly disgusting the amount of flies and everything that are around it the stench coming off of it right now is disgusting so we'll just leave that alone and we obviously also have this sort of grill area there is like some coals or something at the bottom there and it does mean that we can cook a meal but unfortunately we don't have any sort of way to cook anything here just yet because we haven't got any fish that aren't disgustingly spoiled so i guess if we manage to you know get some new fish we can cook this which is better than our little campfire so hopefully that'll work i mean micah doesn't really know anything about it she's sort of looking over at it like mm, so this is a grill uh <laughs> it's it's just grilling stuff which is cool yeah have to ask hope about that one maybe but let's have a carry on looking around we've got some again more spoiled grossness over here we've got like a conch which maybe we could put in our inventory steal that we also have that pine oh <gasps> no what's happening what's happening what's happening what's happening did you guys just feel that? What was that? Actually, genuinely, what was that? I don't know if that was the thing erupting or if that was just an earthquake. Oh, I'm really hoping that was just an earthquake. That was really scary. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Nearly just like had a heart attack, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm totally alive, so we're all good. Let's just go ahead and take this. And we also have a pineapple here. Now, Micah is going to pick up the pineapple. It's kind of gross and horrible, but she's hoping that maybe it has like seeds. What? How does a pineapple grow? <laughs> I'm genuinely asking a question. How does a pineapple... Do they go in the ground? Are they on a tree is it a bush do you get a pineapple bush i don't i'm gonna google it how do pineapples grow oh my god you get a bush 
That is mad. Imagine just being in the wild and being like, oh, this is a pineapple. Like, what? How in the hell? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> she's hoping that maybe she could plant it. Honestly, anything that they can pick up is great. Where can they actually, like, keep it? I don't know. Okay, but that's not my issue. Okay, I mean, it literally is. But, you know, let's see. Ew, a gross, like, what are they called? Pina coladas? Is that even a pina colada? Probably not. It's just, like, a coconut drink. Cool. Got a nice bucket, which could actually be helpful if we want to make another shower. Although, I don't think the mica really wants to settle down here, if I'm being honest. But let's carry on looking around. Anything else? We've got these, like, statues, which are really cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, my God. A 6 that mosquito trap seed. Okay. Um, um... I'm just gonna walk away from that. That seems dangerous. Just gonna leave. Uh, a <laughs> little bit scared. A little bit scared. And when Micah walks over to this part of the island, she's looking around, looking between all of the bushes, seeing what she can find. When all of a sudden, she notices something hidden behind this crate. She walks over to it and squints, looking down at it, and she realizes that this is a skull and bones. She quickly screams. She's like, oh my god. Hope, quickly, quit here, quickly. Hope runs over, wondering what the hell Micah is yelling about. And Micah points down to the ground and Hope looks over at it, seeing that, yeah, it is indeed a skull and bones. Micah quickly turns around because she does not want to look at it any longer than she has to. And she starts feeling really sick and really nauseated from seeing this. Micah just walks away from it because she really can't handle it. It's also got a rancid smell coming off of it and she just can't stay in that same place as it she can't look at it micah just stands here in shock for a while as it seems like hope stays over by it after a while hope comes back over and hope says to micah that wasn't human okay it's not human that's just that's just like a deer or something that's not human bones i don't think okay i think that was i think that was just like an animal or something that's just died over there or maybe maybe the person that lived here killed it and and left its bones over there i don't know okay I don't know what's going on here, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's not human, okay? And Micah says, really? Definitely? Definitely? Are you sure? Are you sure? J J definitely, 100%, because because it looked like human bones to me. I I've never seen them, but I, they are in the, the movies, they always look like that because they've always got the, the, the skull and it looked like a human head and it really it, it, it definitely wasn't human, right? Because if it is, what if the person that had left the, the skull that had the skull, what if they kill people and what if we're in a place where they kill people and we're gonna, we're gonna get killed and, and oh, <laughs> I've seen so many films about that. And Hope replies, no, okay, trust me. That's not human bones, okay? I, I looked at the, 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 the skull and it was just, it was just uh, uh, like an animal, okay? It's not a human, I promise. And Micah just goes, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, that makes more sense anyways. I'm sorry, I'm just, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Right, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll get back to looking for stuff. Have you found anything yet? I know it says, no, I haven't seen anything. Maybe I should carry on with the fishing or something. I'm really hungry um, right now. Micah says, yeah, maybe that'll be the best. I can carry on looking whilst you do that if you want. So Hope is gonna come all the way down here and she is gonna fish. Well, actually, first, before doing that, I've just remembered that we do have some peppers. Obviously, we don't wanna eat all of them, but we can eat maybe two each just to get our hunger up a little bit because right now it's really really bad so we'll also give it to to hope as well so she can have some because you know be a bit unfortunate if they uh starve to death so <laughs> yeah um, also where did she get a little rubber ducky from i don't know why are these quite scary is it just me i am quite terrified of that that looks frightening okay let's just ignore that <laughs> let's just ignore the terrifying duck okay <gasps> should we name it oh no you can't Oh, what's the point of life if I can't name the duck? This is Donald. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Literally just forgot that Donald the duck was a thing. This is Dean. Dean the duck. Yeah. Such a great guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just put the duck away <laughs> anyways okay Micah let's carry on looking around babe so she's gonna look around here again that turtle that is wow that is magnificent but also slightly terrifying but let's go ahead and look around here it's like a little walled off area she's already looked around here she can't see anything and she's come around here she's seen that there's like a lot of stuff on the floor so she's gonna walk on over to it and crouch down and start looking around and from the looks of it this seems like some sort of I don't know she doesn't really know what this is is there's some blueprints there's an a pen and there's a compass and scissors and rope and uh, binoculars and a map point into something and even a bat but more than anything what she's noticed is this radio Micah is gonna quickly grab it and pull it up next to her she puts it up next to her ear and she just says hello 
Hello, um, oh, oh God, she doesn't even know how to use the buttons. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's trying to press all the buttons. She's shouting, hello, hello, is anyone there? Um, S uh, uh, SOS, um, we're, uh, we're on an, uh, an island and, um, we have the, we have, we, we, we're stuck and we, we can't get back. And please, uh, help us, please. Uh, is anyone there? And she just keeps trying to use this radio or walkie-talkie, whatever it is. She just keeps trying to use it, hold it up to her. And all that she can hear is just... Well, nothing. Until she opens up the radio and she realizes that the batteries have gone bad and there's clearly no way of using this radio. It doesn't seem like there's anything that she can do. Because she has no other batteries and the radio just seems completely broken from the inside. <sighs> so Micah just puts back the radio and honestly, she didn't expect that to actually work. Let's be honest. She wasn't really thinking that that magically was going to work because how would it? You know, look how abandoned this place is, how long that must have been there for. But... <sighs> Here we are. So she's going to carry on looking around, looking at everything, seeing what she can get. She's going to pick up a few things. There's some rope, which actually would be really helpful if they make anything. And of course, the compass as well to keep track of where they're going. Obviously, they can use the sun, but obviously, you know, it'd be handier to have an actual compass. Same with binoculars as well. So she's going to pick all of this stuff up. So she's got it in the future. And she's going to come back out here and carry on looking around, trying not to think about that radio too much. She's just come over to this plant and it's not in season. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, there's bananas! Oh my god, there's bananas! Oh my god, wait, genuinely, genuinely did not see that. My cap, harvest the bananas! Look at the bananas on the tree! Oh my god, we actually get bananas! Oh my god, we have a banana tree. We have 10 bananas! Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm getting way too excited. This is crazy. Oh my god, please water the plant. Get the water, babes, run down there, run back up and water this. This is actually amazing. We have a banana tree with like actual bananas on it and like it's actually growing and it's like a full thing. Is there anything else around here then? It doesn't seem like there's anything. Oh my god, Micah, please carry on looking. I kind of want to harvest this mosquito trap but i'm kind of scared should we do it i don't think we should but at the same time i don't think micah knows what it is and she's just harvested anything that she possibly can i just hope that it doesn't poison her or anything like that wait what is this as well a coconut tree oh my god we've hit the jackpot around here jesus christ i did not know this was all here this is amazing she's found so much stuff anything else around the backs i'm really looking now because i'm thinking okay carver root that's not in season thinking like maybe there is stuff okay she's feeling really tense now Ugh, babes this is good oh we also have this to dig i wonder what's under there oh my god i'm actually really intrigued Come on, Micah. Come on, Micah. Please be something good. I mean, it could be anything. It's buried there. What is it? A lime star. Okay, well. <laughs> kind of hoping for like, I don't know, some sort of miracle SOS thing. But here we are. Oh, cute little butterflies. Sorry, distracted. But that is great. So proud of you, Micah. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hope has just come back over to Micah and she's just saying, I managed to get like a, a lot of fish. I managed to get stuff. Did you find anything at all? And Micah's just like, oh, I found uh, I found actually a lot of plants. It was like, uh, there was the banana and I've got bananas now. We could, we could plant those and, 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 and eat those. And, uh, and I found there was, there was a, there was a radio, but there, there was no we couldn't, it didn't work, um, but, you know, there was, there was other stuff as well, and, and Hope says, oh, that's, that's great, um, I'm gonna try and see if I can get this grill to work over there, see if we can maybe, you know, use that to grill up the fish that I've just caught, because these two are very, very hungry right now, so Hope is gonna come over here, and she's gonna make a fish dinner, this is gonna be very impressive, I am very intrigued to see how this works, hopefully she can actually figure out how to do it, she's just had to move the, like, fish out of the way, and hopefully she can light it, and, make something oh my jesus christ okay <laughs> right that's very impressive okay did not expect that at all but here we are and micah is really tense because of her hygiene her bladder her hunger her fun oh my good god will it ever end will it will it will it will it no 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 right let's go ahead and pee in the bush because you know if we weren't already stinky before <laughs> Yeah, I think she'll have a look further up here. She doesn't really want to come any further up here because of the whole volcano thing. But also Hope did just get them like a lot of fish and stuff. And she feels kind of bad. This is such a steep hill. I am so sorry. I am genuinely so sorry, Micah. I want to see her get up here and run through rocks, apparently, of course. And go on a phone just for the lols. Okay. Oh my God. You know what? How are you running right now? I. This is impressive. This is genuinely very... Okay, never mind. She's like, okay, now my legs are in actual agony. Let's carry on up. Let's see if there's anything up here. I'm hoping maybe there'll be plants. Can we click on any of this stuff? can't get any of this stuff around here. Ooh, but there is a little another thing to dig. Hopefully it's got something in there. Anything? Another limestone. Wow, babes. Oh my god. 
god, you're just treating us today, aren't you? Just kidding. And Mika is just gonna ease her way further and further, closer and closer towards the volcano, taking very cautionary moves. What's the word? I don't know. Taking a lot of caution, basically, because there's lots of lava just everywhere around the area, and it's very, very, very scary being this close to something this massive and something that is literally filled with lava that is, you know, deadly. I mean, look at that. Oh my god, god. Oh my god, god. Okay, I'm feeling a bit stressed. I'm feeling a bit warm. I don't I'm not gonna lie, Micah, I feel like you should leave. This is freaking me out a little bit. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Okay, I'm just not gonna look over there anymore because I might have an absolute panic attack. Micah's just looking there and looking at it, and even though she's terrified of it, like, I'm very scared of it because, you know, the whole eruption thing, she's actually looking at it, and it's actually making her feel somewhat calm in a way. I, I don't know how to describe it, but she's feeling, like, relaxed looking at the smoke and looking at it and seeing something so deadly up close. It's actually quite weird to look at and quite relaxing in a weird way, even though she is scared that it will erupt, but it doesn't look as scary now she's looking at it. She's enjoying the colors, she's enjoying the movement, how it's moving along, and it just seems nice. So she is just staring at it and it's actually making her feel a little bit happier and a little bit better for some weird reason that she doesn't even know herself. But yeah, she's just enjoying it and it's already actually starting to go dark. I think the sun is starting to set, so... Oh, actually, you know what? starting to set, Lana? No, I think it has set. Oh no, there it is. There's the sun. That's actually such a beautiful view, you know? She's looking over here. She's looking at the volcano and then she's looking over at the sun setting behind the mountain. You know, as terrifying as this place is, it's actually somewhat beautiful and she's actually starting to see that now. But it is starting to get dark and it is probably not the best place to be. So let's head back down to Hope. Running down the hill. Honestly, let's be honest. She's not running down the hill. She's probably rolling down the hill. Uh, <laughs> she, you, know, when, you know, when you start running down a hill, you can't stop yourself. And so you're just running and running and running and it's like embarrassing because you don't know how to stop. That's exactly what's going on right now okay this is not intentional uh she's just running <gasps> what is happening what is happening what is happening is it the volcano <gasps> it's the volcano oh my god it's the volcano no no it's the volcano no 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 micah oh my god 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 micah just escaped death she just escaped actual death Oh my god, she was here, and the volcanoes, the second she started leaving, the volcano started erupting. She could have died. She was here. All of this, all of the lava that's just erupted would have gone on her. She would have just, she would have just died. Oh my god, look at all of these things everywhere. It's all landed here. Is Hope, is Hope okay? Oh, thank god, okay, Hope's okay, but wow, that has just genuinely terrified Micah. She was seconds, literal seconds away from being killed by a volcano. Oh my god, her life fully just flashed before her eyes as she came down here and felt the eruption. Oh my god, I'm stressed out as well. Oh my god, I can't believe that actually just happened. That could have been it for this episode. Not even this episode, for this series, for this sim. She could have just died. She is terrified right now, and all it's got her thinking is that she really wants to survive. She really wants to get out of this place. She thought that, you know, she wasn't that pushed before. She was just, you know, messing around, kind of. Not messing around, but she wasn't really trying that hard, but wow, that has put a shock in her. That has sent her, her feeling like she doesn't want to die. She knows that she doesn't want to die here, and she knows she wants to make it out oh my jesus christ on a basket basket bicycle bicycle why is it on a basket ba 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 basket what's a basket line at basket oh my god but you know what at least hope managed to make a cool fish dinner that's actually poor so it looks actually disgusting you know i mean the thought was there <laughs> i appreciate it nonetheless hope so they can actually have a meal oh my god, god that was the most actually terrifying experience of my life and by that i mean micah's life that was so scary oh my jesus okay oh Okay. Oh my god, that was so fun. That was so fun. Right, let's put this over here to see if it might not spoil. I feel like there's a lot of servings and it's probably gonna spoil quickly, but honestly, at least it's like an actual meal. They're like actually full up, which is great. Not this again. Guys, you know what? They're gonna come down here and they're actually gonna put this in the bin. Thank you for not littering this time, okay? I know there was no bin on the other island, okay? So you had you had an excuse, but this time you don't have an excuse, okay? Be good people. <gasps> and we can rummage it now. Okay, well, that sounds a bit silly, but you know what? We could maybe do that. I don't know. <laughs> Seems a bit dumb. Rummaging their own food. They just put in there but sure and they're both just gonna come over to this that came out of the volcano this like stone it was red hot before honestly i'm surprised it didn't damage anything or catch fire to anything but it's now gone cold and micah remembers something from school about volcano eruptions having like stuff inside of them that there could be like something inside of them i mean you know is it useful right now no but what if they could use it for something so micah and hope are gonna go ahead and try and break this open we're gonna see if we can break it see if we can see anything inside of it i mean would it be anything of interest probably not 
what? Okay, yeah, we literally found two metals and a crystal. Well, a metal and a crystal. Not really actually helpful, but is this on fire? <gasps> oh my god, this is actually gonna set on fire. This is what this this is lava. This is actual lava that's fell there. And there's these leaves. This place could just go up in flames at any second. Can we get this? Can we clean it up? I can't get it. It's underneath. I can't actually get to it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, what if everything sets a flame? I'm scared, guys, I'm scared. All I wanted to do was break open this one as well. It's actually a little bit of fun, as you can see, for Micah. She's actually enjoying doing this. You know, even though they're not getting anything of importance. It's actually quite fun to do, so she's actually enjoyed just doing that. But anyways, this has been one hell of a day, and Micah is feeling exhausted. Still stinky, we have yet to figure out that. But anyways, she has gone to... Ew, you dutty sod. You dutty, grubby little sod. Oh, to be fair, though, this is a lot worse to sleep on, in my opinion, than the sand, because it's dirt. It's actual dirt. Like, this is rancid. This is manky, this is. But at least tonight, we haven't got any seagulls. Where are you going, honey? Seriously? Where are you off to? Where are you off to? Thank you. At least tonight, we haven't got any seagulls that are, like, ready to just peck out our eyeballs or, you know, murder us. So, you know, a win is a win. Um, <laughs> But she is asleep. So is Hope. I'm not gonna lie. Them staying here another night? <gasps> I don't think I'd like to, but I also think that after it's just erupted, the likelihood of it erupting again is probably slimmer, so uh, you know, I mean, personally, I think I would have tried to leave, but there is a lot of stuff around here that seems helpful, so mm, it's kind of worth it in a way, you know, and yeah, they have gone back to sleep for another night, and after such a scare from Micah, a scare that's really sent her into wanting to really survive now. No more of this, you know, letting hope do everything. This is it. She's determined now to get out. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this part of the Sims 4 Castaway series. I need to say Zombie Apocalypse then. Oh my god, different series. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys' comments. And let me know what you think is going to happen in the future of this series. We are now officially halfway through. So we only have five more episodes to go, which is sad. But, you know, I want to make a very compact story. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So remember to like and subscribe to everyone. And I'll see you guys in the video. I love you guys. Goodbye. Bye.